Hey guys, welcome back. This week we're going to take a look at how the user can change warehouses within the Dynamics 365 Advanced Warehouse mobile application. All right, so let's take a look at why you might need to change a warehouse. So we're, let's go to the outbound uh, work and choose sales picking. We'll go into the work ID and I'll paste in an ID here and hit OK. So notice when I do that, I get a, a message that says you're in the wrong warehouse. So depending on your business process, you may want to allow the user to change the warehouse or they may have just picked up the wrong work report. Um, but depending on your business process, you may want to allow them to change that. Depending on your warehouse processes, you may run across processes that need uh, the warehouse worker to be able to change their warehouse. So there's two methods we're going to go over today to do that. One of them I would consider less restrictive and one of them I'd consider more restrictive. So let's go ahead and take a look at the less restrictive one first. Okay, so for this first setup that we're going to do that's going to allow the users to switch between warehouses, what we're going to go is we're going to go underneath the uh, warehouse management module, then we're going to expand setup, and then we're going to go into the worker. And I'll pick my worker. And notice that I have one log in here. The default warehouse for me is 24, but maybe I won't allow this worker to switch among different warehouses. So the way I do that is I, if I set them up here on the warehouses button here, so this will determine which warehouses I can switch into. So right now I can go into 24, 61, or 62. 24 is going to be the default. Now to, to add the menu for, for the switch, what we're going to do is we're going to go underneath the warehouse management module, setup, and then we're going to go to the mobile device. And the first thing we'll look at is the mobile device menu items. So we'll have a menu item for warehouse change or change warehouse. We'll click on that. And so this one is an indirect mode. Uh, so we indirect mode, you know, there's no work associated with it. And then the activity code is, is change warehouse. So once you set up your mobile device item, you just want to make sure you go back to your mobile device menu and add it to one of your menu items here. Okay, so for example, I have it set up in this uh, count menu. So next thing, if we take a look at the login of this, if we go in and log into the, the uh, mobile device here, so we're going to S gains and put in my password. And I've got this the menu option here, change warehouse. So if I click on that, I have the warehouse there. So if I click on the warehouse number, I can choose warehouse 62 and select that warehouse. And now once this is complete, I'll be in warehouse 62. So I can say OK to that. And now all, all my information is in 62. Same thing if I want to switch back to 24. Select the warehouse. Go back to 24. Say OK. Let's change the warehouse. Say OK again. So I'm back to 24. So that was what I would consider the least restrictive uh, method. So you may not want the warehouse worker being able to change the warehouse ad hoc, right? So this next method that we're going to take a look at is what I would consider more restrictive. Uh, it gives the, the warehouse worker a little less power and you a little more control over what they're doing in any particular warehouse. So let's take a look at that one next. Okay, so to set up different logins for each user, we're going to go back to warehouse management and we're going to go to the worker menu. So we're going to go underneath uh, setup and then go to the worker. Again, I'll choose my worker. So on this scenario, what we're going to do is we're going to hit new and we can create a new login. So let's just say I want to do sgains61. Uh, my user is Scott Gaines. My default this time is going to be uh, warehouse61. And I still need to give it a menu name. We'll give that main. Now, alternatively, you may want to, let me go ahead and set a password for that as well. All right, so alternatively, you may want to also have a user for 24, but maybe give them a different menu. So let's just do S gains 24. And so our default warehouse is still going to be 24, but maybe this time I want to give them a count menu, just a different menu. So just a, a different way to do this here. So we got a count, right? And we'll set a password for that one. Set a password. All right. So now if we flip back to the... Um, mobile device, we're going to go back. And let's go ahead and log off here. So this time we'll go S gains 61. And so now I'm in warehouse 61. So if I go to change my warehouse, I've got, uh, I'm set at 61. Okay. 
Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other one. So we did S gains 24, and this is going to give us a different menu now. So if I go to S gains 24, say OK. Now I've got a counting menu here. So you can give the different p different workers different menus depending on what you're wanting to do uh, at the time. What I should mention as well is that this warehouses follows the login as well. So we set up extra warehouses on this uh, S gain. So if I click on that, I've got my 24, 61, and 62. But if I go ahead and take a look at um, this one here for uh, uh, tw just warehouse 24 with this extra count menu and go in the warehouses menu, it's only allowed for 24. Okay, so now that we've seen the two methods that we can use to allow the worker to change the warehouse, let's go back to the first example that we showed in the very beginning of the video and we'll take a look at the, using the two methods and how that can control what warehouse the worker can get into. All right, so let's wrap this up using a similar example that we used in the beginning of the video. So let's go ahead and log in as S gains, And I'm going to go to change warehouse. So currently I'm going to switch this over to warehouse 61. And I have a work that's for warehouse 24. So if we go to outbound work, we'll go to sales picking. Select the, and we're in the work ID. There we go. And now it's going to give me I'm in the wrong warehouse. So. As a warehouse user, all I would need to do at this point would be to cancel out of this, this screen, I'll go back to my menu and go to my change warehouse, select the warehouse, and change myself to warehouse 24. Okay, so at this point, if I go back to the outbound and then the sales picking and go in and put in the work ID, it should come up to the work there. Okay, and then there's our work displaying correctly. Okay, so I, what we went over today was two methods for the warehouse worker to change the warehouse on their mobile app. And depending on your business processes, you may or may not need this functionality. And then even if you do need this functionality, you probably won't use both. You'll probably use one or the other depending on, on how you feel about the warehouse worker and how much control you need on the warehouse worker as far as what they can do in, in any particular warehouse. So I hope I gave you enough information today to set this up in your environment. If you did, please give this a like. That just helps the YouTube ratings. And also, I put out a new video every Tuesday, uh, generally Tuesday morning. So if you like this content and like more uh, D365 finance and operations uh, processes, feel free to subscribe, hit the notifications bell. You'll get uh, notified when, uh, whenever I upload a new video. So until next time, thanks for watching.